Recently, I ran a poll here on my YouTube channel asking designers just like you how much money they make per month as a designer. And I was surprised to find out that over 60% of those designers were making less than $1,000 per month. And a lot of those had yet to make their first dollar online as a designer. So the first thing I wanna say is it's okay if you're not making a ton of money right now. It's okay if you haven't made your first dollar yet. We all have to start somewhere. So you should not feel embarrassed about this and you should not feel like you've been left behind or like you're late to the party. Now is still as good of time as any to be a designer and to make a great career out of it. So in this video, I wanna give you a crash course on everything that you need to know to go from $0 to $1,000 per month. Now, I also want you to remember that this first $1,000 is the hardest and it does get easier after that. But breaking through that mental barrier that's holding you back from making the first $1,000 is what we're going to help you with today. Now, this reminds me a lot of when I was younger trying to learn how to do a backflip. I tried and tried and tried, but no matter what I did, I could not get past that mental block that would not allow me to throw my head straight back and let my feet go above my head. It just didn't feel natural. It felt impossible. And no matter what I did, I would lay out cushions and blankets and do it on the trampoline, and I just couldn't do it. And it wasn't until somebody came and put their hands on my back and helped guide me through my first backflip that that mental block was broken and I was able to do it myself. Now before that, I couldn't imagine a world where I could do any backflip, no matter how small it was. And years later, I found myself doing backflips off of 30 foot cliffs into the water like it was no big deal. And so that first small step is always the hardest and it might seem impossible, but if you can break that mental barrier, you'll be amazed at what you're accomplishing years down the road. So that leads us into the first part, which is getting past your mental blocks or the barriers that are preventing you from feeling confident to go offer design services to somebody, okay? And this is so common. It's something called imposter syndrome where you feel like you're not good enough or you don't have the expertise or you say, who am I to go offer this and have somebody pay me for something that I don't know that well? And you've got to get past those self doubts because no matter what you do, you're always going to fill those unless you just buckle down and you just do it. So now these next steps are going to give you a couple things that are actually going to make you feel confident. The first thing that you need to do is you obviously need to have some sort of skill that is valuable to people. If you don't have any sort of value to provide to people, nobody's going to pay you. Nobody's going to hire you. Nobody's going to want to work with you. And so there's no way around this. You have to develop some sort of skill that is of some sort of value to people. Now, with that said, you do not have to be an expert. You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be the best. All you have to be is slightly better than the person that's hiring you. And so again, we all start somewhere. When I started out, I was not a good designer. And that was okay because I found somebody that needed a website, their expectations weren't terribly high, and I didn't charge a whole lot of money, and so it worked out for everybody. Now, the wonderful part about your situation today is there is endless amounts of free education on how you can become a better designer. So let's just say that you wanna learn web design, just go on YouTube, and I'll give you a ton of links down below in the description of this video of other channels that you can check out and learn for free and become proficient at design. Now, the other nice part is it doesn't cost you any money to learn or to practice. Practice is totally free and you can do it outside of your traditional nine to five job. You can do it on the weekends. Just practice, right? Design websites, come up with new ideas. Maybe there's a website that you really like and so you try to recreate that website. Just make sure that you're using your free time to get better at this skill. Now I'm gonna rewind back even further. If you have never built a website and you don't even know where to start, I would suggest, again, going on YouTube, but then getting a free tool like Wix. You can start building websites on Wix super easily. If you wanna get into a more complex tool that has more capabilities, maybe look into Webflow. But again, just dive in, try it out, see what you can do, and you're going to find yourself get better over time. And as those skills grow, so will your confidence. Now, the last thing that you need is you need a way to get paid because once you develop this skill, you're also going to need a way for people to pay you. Now, I use a service called Hello Bonsai 
This does all my contracts and proposals and all my invoicing, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. For starters, I would just offer to have people pay you through PayPal or Venmo, one of these free services that's really easy and user friendly. So don't stress about anything else. As long as you have an easy way to get paid, you're gonna be in a perfect spot to start making money as a designer. Now you have these new skills that you're practicing and improving, but you have to find a way to bundle them up as some sort of offer. And this is really easy. You don't need to overthink this. You don't need to have some complex proposal or website. All you need to do is determine what will I offer, how much is in this bundle, and how much does it cost? And so if you're just getting started, I would tell you, maybe just price it at $500. It doesn't matter if it's a one-page website, a 10-page website. $500 is enough to motivate you, to get you started, and it's affordable enough that people are gonna be willing to give you a chance, and it's not gonna be a huge risk for them either. So once you know how to design, develop, and launch a website, offer it for $500, and you've got everything that you need. Now we just need to find clients. But instead of using the word client, let's just talk about getting somebody that's willing to pay you for your services. That seems a little bit less scary, right? So all you need to do is find somebody that needs what you know. And so now you know how to design, develop, and launch a website. Find somebody that has a small business or a small venture or they're trying to build a personal brand and offer that $500 website to them. Now I'm gonna link a video up here in the top corner that talks about how I found my first client. I actually found my first client through Facebook friends and it was really easy and very unofficial, right? Finding your first client, you don't have to do any sort of outreach or cold email. Just put a post out on your Facebook and let people know that you offer web design services because if nobody knows, nobody's gonna be able to hire you. Now you can also look to places like Upwork to put your name out there and get hired for some smaller projects, but the most important part is just landing that first project, okay? So don't worry too much about the scope or the price or all those different things. Just start trying to get some work under your belt. Now I did link that video that I mentioned, but down below in the description, I'm gonna add a ton of other videos about how to find clients. This is gonna give you tons of actionable ideas on how you can get your name out there, how you can get people's attention, and how you can get them to hire you. Now, once you find that person that's willing to pay you, you have to convince them and make a game plan with them of what that's going to look like. So typically speaking, you're gonna hop on a Zoom call or a phone call with that person. You're gonna talk through all of the logistics, what type of business they have, what type of website they need, and then you're going to tell them what it is that you're going to deliver. Let's say in this instance, it's a three-page website for $500. Now you're going to establish everything that's included in that website. Maybe you're gonna set a timeline on it. I would suggest if it's your first project or one of your first projects, set a longer timeline and then let them know that with that $500 payments, they can do $250 at the start of the project and $250 at the end of the project. Now, oftentimes people might get a little bit skittish if there's not some sort of contract in place, but this is actually really easy. All you need to do is click this video up here. It's going to talk to you about how to create a contract and then it even has a free template that you can send people in an email. Again, don't get overwhelmed by all the logistics. This is a very simple exchange of services. You don't have to worry about a business name or a website or an LLC or taxes. Just get started, right? This is just a small little side hustle that you're doing to get that first website project under your belt. Now, once they pay you that first $250, you can get to work. Now, for a lot of you, this might be scary because you're gonna get paid and then you're gonna be sitting there thinking, okay, what do I do now? Like, where do I get started? And that's a really good question. You wanna make sure that you know what you're doing with the project. And so the best way to do this is to ask a ton of questions to your client about what they want out of this website, maybe what styles or colors they like. Maybe they would send you a couple example sites that they really like. And then you also wanna ask questions about if they have content and if not, what type of content they want and what you want the, the website to accomplish and all of these different things. It's just gonna give you a really good idea of what this website could look like. I always love to get a good idea of the styles that that client likes so then I can implement those into the site that I designed for them. Now there is endless inspiration out there on the web, whether you go look at templates, whether you go to Dribble, whether you go to Pinterest, whatever you wanna to do to look for inspiration and ideas so you can start putting things together and before you know it, you're gonna have a homepage and then you're gonna have a services page and then a contact page. And then throughout this process, you just need to stay in contact with your client and say, hey, how do you like this? What do you think about this? Oh, you don't like that? That's totally fine. How can we change it? 
and together with your client, you're going to work through this project. Now, don't be so afraid about not getting it right off the bat. It's actually a really good thing when your client doesn't like a design or an idea because then they're going to tell you what they do like, and that's part of the process. So don't get overwhelmed. Don't feel like you are too attached to your design that you're going to get your feelings hurt if they don't like it. You have to separate from that and work with the client to come up with the perfect website for them. Now, once the website is done, get final verification from them. Once they're ready to launch, you can send them that last $250 invoice. Once that's paid, you can connect the site to their domain. If you don't know how to do this, there are tons of videos out there on YouTube. And then you're going to publish the site. And just like that, you've gotten your first project under your belt. So again, seeing this whole process now over these past couple of minutes, you can see that it's not scary. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be official. You don't have to have all of the plans in place in order to start a web design business. You just have to start getting that experience. And little by little, you're going to go from charging $500 to $700 to $1,000 to $5,000. And you're going to land multiple projects. And you're going to start to learn how to manage those and how to work with clients. And you're going to get better. Now, the position you're in right now I was there too. I had to start at zero. I had to start at $200. We all did. And that's okay. You're in the right spot and you've got tons of opportunities in the years ahead to excel and succeed and have a very fulfilling career as a web designer. So if there's anything that I missed, any questions that you have, please feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll be quick to respond to those. And if you want other help about how to learn web design, how to work with clients, how to find clients, I'm going to put all of those links down below in the description and also make sure to subscribe to my channels. I've got new videos like this one coming out every single week. We'll see you soon.